Today we've got lots of princess news. We're going to talk about the app, medallion shipping. We're also going to talk about who they have chosen to be the godmothers for the Celebrity Ascent, a brand new ship that is due to set sail later this year with Celebrity. We are also going to talk about... Um, Let's see, I'm going to let you know how to find that Captain Circle host that we read about when we were talking last week about what the perks are for the different loyalty levels with Princess and lots of other things. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and today is Friday. It is indeed August 18th of 2023 and I want to start off by inviting you to our live tonight. It's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Time so come and join us. Bring your questions, um, your fun experiences. We're just talking about everything to do with cruising, the traveling that goes along with it, places to see, things to think about. I always love to hear your input and we always have a really fun time together. So come and join us and if you can't make sure that you watch it later because because there is so much information shared during our lives. Also, I would like to invite you to please subscribe to our channel. I firmly believe that we need to have you here with us every day so that we can um, share as much information as possible and benefit from each other's experiences. And if you appreciate these updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up as well? Thank you so very much. I want to start off today talking to you about the Princess app. Now, the Princess app, the one on the phone, as well as um, the app that they have set up so that if you don't want to use it on your phone or you don't have a phone, whatever the reason is, it's no big deal, but they do have a web interface for that, and that is also not working. So come to find out um, two days ago, and I didn't even realize this, there was an upgrade to the Princess app. Truthfully, in the last couple of days, I have not looked at my app. Uh, earlier today, I looked in it that I had 40 days until my next cruise and I was um, that was a red flag to me because it's 29 days till my next cruise so as I started to look at the app anytime I clicked on anything like that little main screen would come up but when I click on anything it just spins and spins and spins so we went ahead realized um, that there was an upgrade tried to upgrade it that didn't fix the problem and then um, once I did the upgrade, I could never even actually get in right again. It not only didn't fix the problem, but I can't get in now. And at first I thought perhaps it was just me and Gordon was also having the same trouble, but now I am hearing from a lot of you that this is very widespread. So if your Princess app isn't working right now, uh, don't worry, it's not just you, and hopefully they will get it resolved soon. I would love to hear from any of you who happen to be on a ship right now. I'm wondering if it's working on board. So let us know if you wouldn't mind in the comments because that will help everyone else know um, what to expect and kind of um, help them gauge if they've got a problem or not with their app. All right, I'm really, like I said, I hope they get this ironed out really soon because it's really hard. I also know that the glitchiness with their website continues. Um, we were trying to book excursions last night for one of our cruises, and um, it does the thing where you finally get into your cruise personalizer, you're looking through the excursions, you put them in your cart, and you click on, you know, I think it says pay now, and it says we're logged out. So then you have to log in again and start all over. Um, that happened repeatedly. We thought we had really accomplished something when we actually booked an excursion. So I'm thinking they must be having a lot of trouble, and I'm really hoping they get that iron out soon so let us know in the comments below how it's going for you because like I said that helps all of us another thing that we are noticing some differences about is how much it says in your travel summary that the cost for the medallion shipping is now if you're not familiar before you go on your cruise when you are in the cruise personalizer there go to check-in and as you scroll down, um, you can print your luggage tags, and I have a video talking about this, and right below there, right with it, you can print your travel summary. That is really, really important to print and take with you. Um, if you don't want to print it out, that's okay, but have it as a PDF on your phone so that you can access it, take pictures of it, however it is that you want to do that, but have that with you, because when you're on board, if they're trying to charge you for something and you have already paid for it, there, that's where your proof is. Well, people who have, um, like the plus package, um, some people who were in a suite commented on our Facebook group, and they are noticing that for their um, um, medallion 
shipping that is going to sail next month. They say the shipping is $14 for their sailing that is supposed to go in 2024. The, the travel summary says that the um, charge is $12. Someone else commented that on theirs it says it's $11. Historically, it has always been $10. So I don't know if they just have this huge glitch either with their accounting department or their um, like their IT department with their programming or if they're trying to get ready to change things and have not are not done yet but um, remember that if you've got that plus or that premier package your medallion shipping is included um, I couldn't tell you how much they're charging for a medallion right now you know what I'll hurry up and order mine for the October cruise that we're going to go on I want for the one in September I want to try going through the blue lane so I can tell you about it so let us know what your experience is with that. And if you are buying your medallion soon and it's any price other than $10, if you don't have a package, let us know, okay? Now, and I'm going to tell you all this one more time because I'm hearing again and again and again that it works. If you had booked that, um, if you had booked your cruise and you did not get a package with it, well, now they've made all these changes, and so maybe now you've decided that you want a package, but you've already ordered your medallion. So here's, people are telling me this works. Go ahead and cancel that order. So if you cancel the order and then start again, once you have booked that plus package, I'm hearing that you get your $10 back and the, then you place the order and it doesn't charge you because now you have that plus or premier package. So send in some more reports. Let me know if it's still working, but I have heard from a lot of people that that works really well. Okay. Now talking about medallions and my cruise next month, um, kind of is a segue. Uh, one of our Let's Go family members, and I'm a little late with this, a few days ago, he posted that they actually saw the Coral Princess let me find my note here they actually saw the coral princess docked in Manhattan that morning despite the Red Hook dock at Brooklyn being unused does anybody know anything about this if any of you do let us know um, with our cruise I know all of these New England cruises say Manhattan or Brooklyn so we've tried looking on cruise mapper to see which one we are going to be going out of but um, it showed something it seemed like we would be going out of Brooklyn but we've had the Coral Princess sighted there um, docked in Manhattan so let us know what your experience has been lately with going in and out of New York City there um, as well as if you've seen any other ships docked in places um, like that to give us a hint of what we're doing. Um, I I am likely going to end up going on that by myself, like I've told you, and I am still really waffling. I really don't want to get there and go to the hotel late at night by myself because that flight lands about midnight. And... Um, so I keep waffling about taking the red eye. I know I shouldn't. I think I'll go and stay in the hotel. But the next morning I was thinking of taking an Uber. But if I'm not sure which port to go to, then I better go take the princess transfer. So if anybody has input, let me know. I always appreciate what you um, what you share with me. Now, another update that we have had from Celebrity Cruises is, as you know, the fantastic, gorgeous, and I know she's fantastic and gorgeous because she's like the beyond. The Celebrity Beyond, I got to be on that last year. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful ship. Such a beautiful ship. Well, the Celebrity Ascent, which is like the beyond, they've made a few things that they think are improvements improvements she is due to set sail in November I believe it is and um, they have named the godmothers so the they're going to have Captain Sandy Yon who is known for her appearances on Bravo TV's reality show Below Deck alongside her sister who is Michelle Dunham who is the founder of the Jacksonville School for Autism they are the ones who have been cho chosen to be joint or co-godmothers of the Celebrity Ascent so I am really excited to see all of the media coverage for that sailing um, when they will be on board the ship and um, officially christen her and it's just always fun when new ships come online. Another really interesting thing is I was reading in the news while we're talking about new ships. Uh, Carnival has just announced that the Carnival Jubilee um, there in that Meyer Wharf um, I hope I'm saying that right. The Meyerwerf shipyard there in Germany right now, they are installing their third bolt roller coaster uh, across Carnival's freight fleet. So the Carnival Jubilee is going to have another one of those roller coasters. So, and she's going to start sailing, I believe it's December 23rd of 2023 out of Galveston. So that's going to be huge. People are going to, people that love roller coasters, 
there you go. That is supposed to be a fantastic roller coaster. Thought I would just tell you that um, when we're talking about new ships here. Also, um, I wanted to make all of our educators here aware that if you make a new booking with Holland America, be aware that they are offering educators an onboard credit of $100 per stateroom when you book a new cruise with Holland America. So if you are an educator, a teacher, and you've already got your cruise booked, um, they don't, they won't apply the $100 of onboard credit. But if you're looking at Holland America and you're thinking that you would like to do that, um, make sure that you go through the process. You have to verify that and then you can book your cruise. Okay. Alrighty, another bit of news, which is a really big deal to anyone who is on the Emerald Princess right now, as well as anyone going on any of those Mexican Riviera cruises, is that we have got a hurricane coming right up. And indeed, today it is starting to hit the coast there of Mexico. They are anticipating that by noon tomorrow on Saturday, it will be hitting the Baja region of California and Baja, California. And then by noon on Sunday, it is supposed to be at more, it looks like the map to me, up close or to um, the Los Angeles area there in California and then Monday it will start to move northward and um, and impact more of the United States so my heart goes out to everyone who happens to be on a cruise and all of the people that live in this hurricanes path we surely will pray that um, that they'll be safe and I also wanted to add you know I thought a lot about everyone on the Emerald Princess and I saw someone's post you know they have during this during this voyage that the Emerald Princess is on right now they have been on board while Lahaina and Maui burned they were on board when one of their passengers jumped off the ship and now um, they are heading towards a hurricane as they put it and so I know that we all realize it is such a huge blessing and a gift to be able to go on a cruise ship but you all have had a remarkable voyage and I hope that you have been able to enjoy being on the cruise in spite of all the unexpected things that happened and indeed our thoughts and prayers are still with everyone in Lahaina and Maui and in all of the other places where people um, are suffering and having a hard time. I just feel like adding that today. Okay. The last thing I want to tell you about today is, like I said, um, last Saturday we were, I did a video to let you all know the perks to look forward to and you all gave great comments, so thank you. But the perks that you have access to as you go up the ladder of loyalty with Princess Cruises. And one of the things we talked about was the Captain Circle host. Well, some of you realize this, so I have been, they have, here. here's what she says, the Captain Circle host is the princess representative on board the ship and helps um, and assists returning passengers and members of the Princess Captain Circle. They arrange all the Captain Circle parties, the most traveled Luncheons, and if you need something, you can reach out to them. So from uh, no matter how many times you've cruised with Princess, if you have been on board before and you need something, you can ask for the Captain Circle host. Now, often they will have the um, the um, that most travel luncheon, and then they will also have the cocktail party for people who are elite on board the ship. One of the sailings, um, maybe some of you can remember, I can't remember which ship it was, they had so few elite passengers on board that they included passengers clear down through the ruby level. Um, it sounds like that would be um, like our Let's Go family member Trish say, shared about the Royal Princess sailing right now that um, like 85% of the people on board were brand new cruisers and 90% of them were new to Princess. So when you have sailings like that, I think they feel like they've got the space to accommodate um, more of their loyal passengers. So if any of you have any questions about any of this, let me know. I really look forward to seeing you this evening at our live. If you've got questions about anything, put that down below as well. And I will be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>